Good day, lovelies. Welcome to Campus Live on Today Studio. Alisa Chakrache is my name, and I'm here with Dr. Martin Otu Ofe from the Computer Science Department of KT. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you very much, my dear. So, Doctor, I would like to ask, how did computer science emerge here at KTU? How did it start? So, I'm a product of KNUSC Computer Science Department, and I came here in 2001, and, and I had the opportunity uh, to be able to go and study abroad in 2003 in, in Kingston University because Kingston University in the UK because the university here wanted to start what we call BIT, Business Information Technology. And I went around the whole of India, um, you know, be, being like an academic spy, looking at what they are using computer science to do in, in India. And I, I visited Hyderabad, which is the, the IT city of, of India. I was with NIIT, which is one of the big schools in IT in India. And I came back to Koforidia Technical University, then Koforidia Polytechnic, to start computer science. And that is how the, the whole thing started. Um, so I think apart from tech, we were the second university to have started computer science. Uh, and in, among the, all the technical universities, we are the first. KT is the first uh, university to have started computer science. And we didn't only do computer science as tech was doing, but we did what we call computer network management in addition to uh, computer science. So if you come to computer science department, you find two major courses. So the HN in computer science and HN in computer network management. Now that we have uh, BSc and BTEC and all that, but that is how it started. Uh, computer science because uh, it was important for us to, uh, the, I mean, the technological age after 2000 and the millennium back, how IT was being used and applied to a lot of uh, a lot of things uh, in terms of research, um, business, how IT was used to re-engineer businesses and all that. So, you know, it was important for us to get middle class people uh, in the technical universities to start something like that so that when those in the universities are doing, we can come in and fill the middle class uh, manpower in the IT space. Okay, so Doctor, I would like to ask, since the introduction of the computer science program, how has it contributed to the growth of the student and the university as a whole? Now, interesting, as I speak to you, mm -hmm. computer science is the biggest department in the whole of Kofuria Technical University. I think we are about 18% of the, the whole student's population. And even this year alone, I think first years are getting to about 1,000 students. Uh, and it doesn't happen. Uh, it, it has never happened in this university. Mm. So computer science, uh, when we started with, I think, only 24 students. And here we are 19 years down the line, having about 19% of the whole student's population and having first years getting closer to 1,000. So you see that over the years, it has expanded, it has grown. And because of what we believe in, what we do, and our students who are finished here get, you know, job placement in mm. quite important places, of which I'm going to talk about some of them later. Okay. People so desire that when we go to Goforida Tenka University, we are going to do computer science. We are coming to the computer science department. And interestingly, those who finish com uh, computer science and computer networking, they're able to do telecom engineering. Uh -huh. So some of progressively, some of them leave the computer science and go to telecom engineering. Um, so the opportunity that it gives them is quite wide, you know, because they can do business programs, they can do other engineering programs. So it, it offers them the opportunity to cast their nets uh, wide. Mm -hmm. So it has grown from 24 students, and here we are about 19% of, of our, our 10,000 students. So talking about closely about 1,900 students in computer science department alone. Okay, so I would like to know, are there any successful projects or initiatives led by the computer science department ever since it came into being? Are there any projects you are working on or any projects you've already worked on since it came into being? So one thing that comes to my mind easily mm -hmm. is I think all in all the universities in Ghana, we're the first to have used e-voting. Okay. We developed the e-voting platform, the whole Ghana. So. We started voting electronically from this university. 
No other university did that. Okay. So we started it and others copied. Mm -hmm. And now in all the universities, you see that people are doing e-voting, e-voting. This is where it all started. This is where the platform was. Uh, I mean, they, I mean, they started and now it spread to. And so it got to a point, our university students had to deploy it in other places mm -hmm. for them to use, okay. uh, to, to be able to. Uh, so one of the, of, the, of, the, of the key things that I would say nationally uh, is, is one, but there are many, many more, because you see, as an academic department, there are a lot of researches that are happening, mm -hmm. that are novel, that are, are coming. So probably, I don't know whether that is where we want to go, but uh, key things is this uh, e-voting platform. We started it first among all universities in Ghana, and now a lot of universities are doing e-voting. And that is, I think, is very significant. Are there any practical sides to the computer science? Are students, or do students have access to the practical side of the computer science? Or they are only taught uh, verbally in the classroom without any practice at all? So, everybody who comes to technical university, one of the things that differentiate us from the traditional universities is to have practical knowledge, hands-on. Mm -hmm. That one is basic. So for, for us, as computer science students, it is part of our curriculum. You are taught in class and you do some practical. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, every second semester, there's a long back for students to go to industry to be able to apply what they have learned in the classroom in the industry. Now, it may interest you to know that I was on an um, industrial trip as a, a lecturer to supervise my students. And everywhere I went, everywhere, my, Ghana Maritime University, uh, uh, G, uh, what do you call, DVLA, everywhere I went, they always told me your students, the IT students, exceptional. They are doing practical things. And sometimes they wonder, how were they, were they, were they, how come that first year, second year students are able to do all these things? And it is because of the practical nature of our courses that is helping our students to get hands-on. So it is theory and practice. And we also give them the opportunity to go to industry. Whatever you have learned, go practice it in, in the industry. And myself, as uh, the pioneer person who started computer science in technical universities in Ghana, I'm the pioneer, I'm the person who started the whole thing. This was part of what we put in. And we ensure that if it is networking, then you are going to have uh, um, Cisco uh, training as practically as possible to be put. If it is computer science, then you are going to have practical programming languages. So I remember there's a, a particularly interesting young man called Marty, who, who owns a company now called Websoft. He used to be my teaching assistant and, you know, what we were doing practically is what has led him to be able to become a CEO with a company that is run, and now he's doing so well. And so, Koforia Technical University, practicals in all the disciplines, but more especially with, with computer science, is hands-on. I guess that is why we are even seated here and we are even receiving this, because I can see one of my students far away somewhere <laughs> recording these things. Okay. It looks like there's been a great progress in the computer science department since it came into being. So tell us, are there any challenges that the department face or the student face concerning the initiative or since the computer science program was introduced? Are there any challenges being faced by both the students and the staff? Yeah, there are, there are challenges. You know, in every human endeavor, as growth comes, there are challenges with growth. Okay. And one of the key things is our labs. Um, we need to expand the labs because a lot of students are coming in. And so we need to um, open the labs for students uh, um, to be part, to be part of, so that we can have a lot of students doing the practical sessions. Mm -hmm. So there's a problem with the labs because they have become too many that sometimes you have to take them to you know lecture halls which do not have even computers to work with in the first place so it is important that we can work on our labs and the other thing is that they need tools um i think that going forward and i think we have to start uh, within the shortest possible time i have a, i have always said that if you are coming to computer science the university should put a system in place where the moment you enter we hand you a laptop with tools and everything that this is your piece of 
uh, material that you are going to work with. Obviously, if you are networking students, uh, you have to buy, you know, uh, tools. I'm talking about the networking tools kit that is going to help you to, you know, uh, do cables and all those kind of things. Mm. But what is important is that we can expand our labs. Uh, I think uh, a week ago, I was with the head of department at National Information Technology uh, Agency mm. to go and solicit for, for funds to be able to expand our labs. So it is important that government would, would help us because you see, every course that gives students practical knowledge, getting jobs after school is not difficult or working on your own is not difficult. So it is important for us to expand the labs and it's also important for us to send them on all more practical uh, um, uh, industrial trips so that they can see what uh, is being taught them physically in that environment so that they can appreciate that what we are being taught is what is being applied in this space. So, yes, we, we have to make sure that we can expand. The university has to invest. Government will have to invest. And there is something key that I want to mention here. Unfortunately, in this part of our world, there's a lot of theft going on online as compared to physical theft. Mm -hmm. And it's important for us to train more people who are, you know, cybersecurity experts than training physical security people. Because the, the, the theft that goes on online is much more than the theft that physically happens. Yeah. So it is important that we can also look at that space, a cyber security, uh, artificial intelligence, yeah. so that people can flow and, and be able to do modern things with technology to help the course of Ghana and, and the global world. Okay, that's great. Please, I would like to ask, you mentioned earlier on opportunities and work. I would want you to elaborate more on that side for us. What are some of the opportunities that are offering a computer science course or a computer science program? Now, for the computer science students, mm -hmm. one of the key things that everybody who would ever have access to this video as students should understand is that apart from you learning practically and also getting your academic certificate, it is important that you can look at the professional certification. Okay. Uh -huh. So because you can be trained here to know how to program. But if you go and write the cybersecurity exams and you pass, then you are certified as a cybersecurity expert. Okay. If you write a Cisco, that is a, 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 a Cisco networking associate, then you, are, you have CCNA, then you can apply it. So it gives you more opportunity to get jobs as compared to only learning the, 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 you know, the, the theory in, in class. Okay. It is important that they will go along that path. Try to get the academic knowledge. Try to get the professional knowledge. Make sure that you can identify one. And there are many professional IT courses. They have so many of them. So it is important for them to look at where the area, where they fit in, and how they can be able to apply, you know, and choose that area, look at the certification, and write the exam so that they can become uh, certified you know, people within the space in computer science. If you don't do that, then you are just going to be an academic, you know, an academic person and it's not going to open a lot of opportunities because there's opportunities everywhere for computer science people. IT is being applied in so many areas. So you cannot say that you will not get employment. Just ensure that you look at the, that area, the niche areas, the areas that are like sub, cyber security, for example, growing very quickly. So a lot of people can go to cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, growing quickly. A lot of people can, but you need, like I said, the certifications are so important. They have to look at okay. uh, those certifications. Yeah. So for the sake of the first years, can you please tell us where the computer science department is located? So the computer science department is at the central part of this university. Okay. So the moment you come through the um, the, the main university um, um, gate and you, you come straight to the ceremonial grounds, depending on where you are standing, it is so obvious that you can see the computer science department. That, I mean, the, uh, I think that is the, you know, the nicest building <laughs> on the, in, the, in, the, okay. in the center of, of the place, and it's written there, computer science. Okay. It is at the center of the university. And, and we chose that place because of the network and how the whole university, we were go going to connect network to all the buildings okay. and that building is at the center so in network connectivity we needed that central point to be able to that is why the department was put 
in that space. Okay, doctor, please, are there any last words you would want your students to know concerning the computer science? Now, for our students in computer science, I think you have chosen a very good course. They have to know that they need to apply themselves to the, the trade, try to get understanding. In fact, this morning with one of the students, he told me, say, I go online and I, I learn a lot of the things and I write free certification exams. So students should uh, learn. If you are going to spend all your time doing betting, somebody is getting richer by you betting. But somebody created that program. So we are smart people. In fact, generally, Ghanaian students are one of the smartest in the world. So it is important that they can apply themselves to their, 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 their profession, study, so that they can become... And interestingly, everything is online. All the resources are online. And it's important that you can look for the resources online to you know, expand your horizon, uh, open your knowledge gap up, and learn practically how things are done so that you can be useful. You must know the theory, you must know the practice, so that when you combine together and you, you fit in industry, you can work for yourself or work for any person who employs you. The skill, you must have it. The competencies, you must have it. And you must have the knowledge that matches the competence and ensure that you can get at least one or two certifications and you are good to go. We have students who are working in all parts of the world, you know, and they are working in very, very interesting places and they are earning good money. So every computer science student, when you apply yourself to the trade very well, you get employment without struggling. All right, Dr. Martin, it's been an honor having you on campus live today. We look forward to coming back to more innovative stuff from the computer science department. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, lovely. It's been great having you with me on campus live. I hope you had an educated time with Dr. Martin today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below and turn on the notification button. Same time on next episode, we shall meet again.